Hello everyone, my name is Yuval Bloomberg and uh, today's video is about uh, Israel and India but not on the regular topic about uh, what the connection between Israel and India but about the future of these relationships in light of what's going on in uh, the United States. So in the last, uh, I would say the one, last 100 years, uh, the US saved the free world at least uh, twice, at least. Uh, the first time was in the Second World War uh, without the involvement of the U.S., we don't know how this uh, war uh, would have been uh, over. And uh, the second time was uh, during uh, the Cold War, when the Soviet Union uh, was actually deterred because of the United States. And this is the reason why uh, West Europe uh, remained free and why other places in the world remained free, because of the United States. Without the United States, really, it's very difficult to imagine uh, the free world. And uh, today, in light of the events uh, of the United in the United States, it's very, very difficult to imagine the future. What's going on today in the United States, it's uh, a lot of things, but not exactly a democracy. Um, we see there a big, huge threat on the free world, on the values of the free world, um, things that being done there. Um, even me, I'm just considering the words I'm using now, um, just not to be, uh, you know, not to alert uh, the uh, algorithm here and not to say things that will uh, lead to uh, silencing me. But this, fa the fact that we came to think in this way, just uh, showing where we are standing on today, what is the situation and uh, how severe it is. Uh, and I think that we still didn't see, uh, the, how, I would say the worst is yet uh, to come there. Not only there, but the effect will be, of course, worldwide. It's not just a tiny country that uh, we are watching now, but we are watching the uh, number one country, the biggest protector of the free world and the values of the free world. So the question now is, what's next? I mean, who is going to protect these values? Who is going to do what? I don't think anyone is naive enough to expect uh, Western European countries, countries like Germany, um, France, Spain to be the protectors of the values. These countries are uh, really in a huge problems of their own uh, with the immigrants. I think they are fighting. I don't know if they are fighting. They are not fighting. This is probably the problem. But um, they have a. Uh, I would say they are in the decadence uh, era uh, for themselves. They lost. Uh, they don't have any spirit of a fight. Uh, not for the values. Not for other countries. It's like the surrender type countries. Uh, I don't think anyone expects something to happen uh, from them. Uh, I don't think so. Um, definitely not from uh, in, in South America. It's South America, countries that are focusing on themselves. Uh, most of, part of the countries are not even democracies. Um, in Asia, in Asia, um, we have only one country actually that we can uh, think about. It's uh, India. And in all the Middle East, we have only one country uh, that care about democracy, it's Israel. So in the whole huge area, Middle East and, um, uh, and Asia, we have these two countries uh, that care seriously about democracy. I mean, in the closed area, far in the Far East, of course, we have uh, Australia um, in Europe. I would say it's a bit uh, of ironing, but in East Europe today we have um, Poland, I believe Poland care more about democracy, for example, than uh, France or uh, Germany. This is my opinion, and it's a bit of uh, ironic because they were under uh, uh, the Soviet Union. But maybe this is the reason why today they, are, they care more about democracy, these kind of countries, and uh, they care more about this rather than France or uh, Germany. Um, so I'm talking now about the area, um, like you would maybe the Middle East area, and uh, all along to the east side, west side. So the east side of Israel, we have India. And all along in between, we have nothing, no other democracy. I mean, no one that can care about the values of free, spe uh, free speech, uh, care about the values of equality, the values of um, uh, the freedom to do whatever you want. I mean, as long as you are not hurting anyone else. So the question is if India is ready to take over in, and step into these huge steps of uh, being a, like a world leader country. Uh, and India today, 
it's the biggest democracy in the world, right? I mean, it's 1.3 billion people. Soon it will be the biggest country in the world. It will uh, surpass, it will, uh, will have more people than China. But somehow India is like uh, more focused in this area. Now, India is going to be one of the most, uh, uh, it can be one of the most affected countries, but what's going on today in the United States? Because today it's a very, India sitting in a very sensitive area. Um, they have problems with China, and China, of course, is the main threat in this area. They have problems in uh, South China Sea. Everyone knows this, what's going on there. And they have problems in uh, Northeast uh, 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 India, uh, Gilgit Beltistan, and uh, this area, Ladakh area. Uh, during the last years, we had uh, more than uh, one event there uh, with uh, China. We all know that trying to take uh, over South China Sea, the, this huge area that they claim to be belong to them. Um, in the last years, in the last years, they were deterred by uh, United by the United States Army that patrolled there uh, quite often in the area that China claimed to be the, um, their own uh, area. Uh, nothing happened, but I guess it, nothing happened because they were afraid um, to initiate any uh, uh, hostile activity against uh, the U.S. But the question what will happen if the U.S. Uh, will not be there? Or if the U.S. You will have a, a, a president that his son is being, um, uh, was uh, bribed, uh, allegedly, um, by uh, the Chinese? Um, I guess you are aware about what's uh, published in the U.S. What, what's going on? What, what will be then? Um, who is going to uh, protect this area? Who is going to make sure that this area will remain free? So I believe this will become uh, the responsibility of the countries in the area. But would they dare uh, to confront China? I don't think so. I don't think that the Indonesia or uh, Philippines or Vietnam will dare to uh, confront China. There is only one country that can do that. This is India. Once China will take over there, they will move to the Indian Ocean. And um, of course, they I'm sure they will try to do more stuff on the north uh, east side and the border with uh, India. So this is a situation that uh, it has a huge potential uh, uh, risk uh, for, uh, for India. So India should care a lot about this. For Israel, the situation is uh, the same, of course, because uh, we have the biggest problem with uh, Iran. Iran was under uh, very heavy and severe sanctions by uh, Trump administration. Uh, they couldn't, they couldn't make, uh, they couldn't make a lot of uh, progress with the nuclear program. Um, but now, uh, they, if they get Biden uh, on top, uh, I mean, uh, it's obvious they will do it. They will move ahead. Exactly like they did with uh, when they had uh, Obama then, uh, when they had uh, Obama there. So uh, Obama helped them. I mean, he gave the money, uh, hundreds of billions of dollars they received from the Obama administration, uh, which they could use to support and spread terror across the Middle East and across the world. So today, so today, um, definitely, it's a huge risk for Israel as well. But not only for Israel, of course, for Saudi Arabia and for the Gulf countries sitting in front of uh, Iran. So the question where, where it's all going from here. So I believe that uh, this is why I said I started with Israel and India. I believe that Israel and India must maintain a very strong axis between them. Axis of like a democracy protector, at least in this area. Um, and uh, create an ally. I mean, Israel has its own allies in the Middle East. Uh, Greek, for example, Cyprus. Um, so it's creating sort of a belt. Um, across the Middle East. Today we have uh, Saudi Arabia, it's uh, not a democracy, but it definitely has a similar interest with Israel, at least with Iran, same goes with United uh, um, Arab Emirates, which uh, just had uh, a peace agreement signed with Israel, same goes for Bahrain, and same goes with other countries in this area that has the same, um, at least I would say, same interest in terms of uh, Iran, which is huge threat for this area. And what I'm saying here is that India must step ahead uh, into this position um, that definitely uh, will be there a vacuum. I'm sure there will be a vacuum. Joe Biden will never be, um, will never have the same pres pre presence, the same authority. He will never have leverage on China because he is a weak 
is we know the problem that his son has we know all the stories around we know that he will not be able to leverage any pressure on china so this leave india there india must step ahead and india must recognize its position as the biggest democracy on earth and uh it must it you know, India start to think like uh, uh, the biggest superpower and it must uh, get, get used to this to get more involved with other, um, I would say, foreign, uh, 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 external, international uh, foreign affairs. So India involved with it, but not uh, definitely far away from what is the US doing. And this is, I, I think, that uh, Israel is playing a very important role with this uh, relationship, in these relationships. Um, we have already very good, great relationships, and I think that these relationships must go one step, few more steps ahead, including India taking few more steps ahead as the leading superpower. Definitely, if uh, the Democratic uh, Party, which I can I cannot call it today anymore, <laughs> Democratic Party. I mean, this is the name, but it's just like you know, sarcasm. Um, uh, with this, uh, uh, the the party in the U.S. became the rulers uh, of the U.S. So um, this was my uh, this was uh, the topic that um, I wanted to discuss. Um, I just uh, want to remind you: please subscribe to my channel, give like, and uh, let me know if uh, it's interesting you or you want me to discuss other topics that relate to Israel, Jewish people, Judaism, or any other topic that relates to this uh, uh, environment. And uh, thanks. Have a great uh, weekend. Shabbat shalom from uh, Israel. See you next time in the next video. Bye for now.